Welcome back, it's your girl cooking with Tammy and I'm so happy to be back. What's good, what's good? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious bourbon honey maple glazed ham. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. These are the ingredients for today's recipe. Can't wait to show you how to put this together. I've made it so far this month, okay? We're in the month of December and this is only like December 10th and I've made it like four times already. This packet right here, just like last year, you're out of here, so keep it moving. All right, let's tear this wrapper off. Check it on out. This is absolutely gorgeous. Even though it's still in the wrapper, I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna open it over the sink, of course, because there's gonna be retained liquid in the wrapper, as you can see. All of that stuff right there just allow it to drain off for a quick second just give it a little shake we're gonna take this plastic off and we're gonna grab our casserole dish or aluminum baking pan whatever works best for you as long as it's heavy duty you're good to go all right I'm gonna place it right here just like that oh this is gorgeous did I forget to mention that this ham is already pre-cooked which is great so all we're gonna be doing is basically heating it up and we're going to bake this ham for about 15 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit per pound. All right, guys? So, like I said, into the oven. Now, here's the thing. I am going to cover it on down with aluminum foil just to keep that moisture locked in. It's about 15 minutes to us taking the ham out of the oven. So, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious honey bourbon glaze sauce all right we're going to start off with adding some butter to a hot pan we're going to add our brown sugar let's break it down just a little bit it's been sitting in a ramekin for a hot minute we're also going to add our white sugar Let's just refine it a little bit more. Mix it on up with the butter. Let's add some pineapple juice. Now the pineapple juice is gonna definitely give it a contrast of flavor. You know, based on the little acidity notes that the pineapple juice has. We don't want the brown sugar at the bottom of the pan to burn. So my advice to you would be to stir it until the sugar dissolves. Now the cool thing about it is I was able to get my hands on some maple syrup and honey perfect duo perfect combination however if you don't have this right all you simply need is maple syrup and honey separate obviously this is just a combination bottle that makes the job a little bit more easier gonna stir that on in there as well make sure that flame is on low heat we're gonna spice it on up just a bit as well I'm gonna add some onion powder garlic powder Smoked paprika for a nice little smoky element. I'm also going to add some allspice. Mm -hmm. We're going to give everything a good mix until the powders break down. We're going to add our Dijon mustard to the party as well. When you add the Dijon mustard, it's going to look like a clumpy mess, but that's totally okay. Give it some time, and the sauce is not only going to thicken up, but the mustard is going to break down as well. And last but not least, we are going to add our bourbon. Mm. That right there is going to, oof, talk about personality. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If you don't use bourbon or you don't drink, you don't have to add the bourbon. I'm going to continue stirring my sauce because I don't want it to boil over. And also I want to continue to stir it because like I said, I want all of the powders to dissolve. And I want everything to come together. As you can see, our sauce is starting to thicken up and reduce. All right. Now is going to be the perfect time for us to add some orange zest. Just trust me on this one. You add the orange zest to this sauce right here. Oh my goodness, you're going to be the talk of the town. You hear me? Just going to 
when I told you guys to add the ginger to the candied yams. I was the first one on YouTube. Let's keep it a buck. I was the first one on YouTube to tell anybody to add ginger to their candied yams. Some of you doubted me and you're like a little bit skeptical because you've never tried it like that in all fairness. Some of you were like, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to wait to the last minute and try it just because you said so. And others tried it beforehand, you know, before the holidays and stuff. And each and every one of you who tried it came back and told me that it was a superstar dish. The ginger definitely took the candied yams over the top. Well, this year I'm telling you to add the orange zest along with the allspice and everything else that we added because it's gonna tie together perfectly. It's been about an hour so far. Just gonna go ahead and remove the aluminum foil. In order to bring these flavors home and hit that home base, I'm gonna add some of our ham broth to the sauce mm-hmm but we're not going to add all of it because it's more than enough so the remaining broth that's in the casserole dish we're going to toss it yeah sauce has such an amazing flavor and we went ahead and added some of our ham flavor to the sauce so you can only imagine how delicious this sauce is because now we have that flavor that hickory smoke flavor from the ham intertwined with our sauce omg i'm going to remove about one fourth of the sauce from this pan and we're gonna actually add it to the ham and baste the ham and we're gonna place it back into the oven. We wanna go in with the sauce and we wanna glaze our ham. Oh, this is gonna be everything. Just, just, just let it seep through the cracks. This part might seem like it's taken a little minute or two but we gotta show our ham love and attention. And believe you me, the more attention you show this ham by placing the glaze on every single slice of this ham, it's gonna be so well worth it in the end. After glazing each individual slice, we're gonna get ready to flip our ham over. Flipping the ham over could be a little bit tedious because it's hot, so be careful. I'm not gonna cover it down this time, but I am gonna place it back into my 325 degree oven. And we're gonna allow this ham, this beautiful ham, to just basically, I want all of the the flavors to literally infuse itself into the ham. So I'm gonna say about 15 minutes in the oven, 325. Right. We ended up turning our stove top back on to caramelize and reduce the syrup even more. And this is the texture that we're going for. Nice and syrupy and sticky, all right? We're gonna turn the stove top off. Pull it out of the oven and let's glaze this ham up with our bourbon honey maple glaze syrup. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, now you know your girl could cook, okay? When I tell you this ham has to be one of the best hams that your girl cooking with Tammy has ever made. When I tell you, so delicious. I was licking my fingers. No shame in my game. Yes, I was. <laughs> I'm not going to place this ham back into the oven. However, if you want to, you can. If you want to place it back into the oven, maybe for about two to three minutes, five minutes, you can. But I'm not going to do it for obvious reasons. The sauce was reduced enough, so therefore it was thick. So there was no need to caramelize it anymore into, you know, by placing it back into the oven. But anyway, as always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy, and I would definitely continue to hit you with those recipes.